This video is intended for MyQ Wi-Fi enabled garage door openers. You must confirm that the Wi-Fi or powered by MyQ icons are on your garage door opener. Pay close attention to the LED lights around the adjustment button. This video will take you through various troubleshooting tips and techniques to help you successfully connect your garage door opener to your home network. If you have reviewed all troubleshooting techniques and still find you are having problems connecting your garage door opener, please refer to your manual for further instructions or visit myq.com support. If you are having trouble connecting your garage door opener to the internet or getting it to stay connected, We'll walk you through some quick and easy solutions that can help. First, make sure you have the latest version of the MyQ app installed on your mobile device. Have your Wi-Fi router manual handy for the following steps. When connecting your garage door opener to your home internet, the lights on the enabled garage door opener will change three times. Once you enter your Wi-Fi password on the MyQ app, the solid blue light on your garage door opener will change to a blinking blue and green light while the garage door opener attempts to connect. If the password you entered is correct and your garage door opener successfully connects to the router, you'll see a blinking green light. Once the opener connects to the MyQ server, the lights will change to solid green. This should all happen pretty quickly. If this does not happen, follow these four troubleshooting solutions to solve the issue. Solution number one. Did you enter the wrong Wi-Fi password? If the light on your garage door opener stays solid blue and never changes to blink in blue and green, you'll need to confirm your Wi-Fi router password and re-enter it in the MyQ app. Solution number two. Do you have a weak Wi-Fi signal because your router may be too far from your garage door opener? If so, try moving the location of your router closer to the garage. If that works, you will need to purchase a Wi-Fi range extender or, if you are using a mesh network, try moving one of the puck devices closer to the garage so that your signal is able to reach the garage door opener when it's installed in the garage. For best results, make sure the extender is located halfway between the hub and the router. Solution number three. Is your Wi-Fi router broadcasting at 2.4 GHz? If not, you'll need to make sure your router has that setting available and is turned on. This can be done on your router's admin page. Consult your Wi-Fi router manual for access and settings information. Solution number four. Is your Wi-Fi router configured correctly? If the light on your MyQ garage door opener continues to blink blue and green and never changes to blinking green, it's probably your router setup. This can also be changed on your router's admin page. Look in your Wi-Fi router manual for access and settings information. Possible issues may include. Your router has MAC address filtering turned on. If so, turn it off. Another issue may be that your Wi-Fi security options are not set to either WPA, WPA2, or WPA3. Your MyQ enabled Wi-Fi garage door opener is also not compatible with WPA Enterprise. If the light on your MyQ garage door opener is still blinking green instead of solid green, simply unplug your router and MyQ garage door opener. You will need to remove the connection to the battery backup and then plug them back in. If that does not resolve the flashing green light, it may mean that port 8883 is blocked or blocked in your firewall software. To fix this, look in your Wi-Fi router manual for admin page access and settings information. When this connection is successful, a solid green light will appear on the garage door opener and the app will prompt you to name your garage door opener and it will appear as a device on your MyQ account. If this does not happen, follow these additional troubleshooting steps to solve the issue. If you see device setup at the top of the MyQ app after tapping get started, follow these steps. In the MyQ app, tap the plus button to get to the device setup screen, then tap smart access accessories and select internet gateway. Check the box and tap I'm ready. Then you can enter your MyQ serial number manually. The serial number is located on the side of the opener by the yellow Learn button. Then, tap Next or Submit. If you have a solid green LED and are unable to add your Wi-Fi garage door opener to your MyQ account, verify you are using the correct email address for your MyQ account, as the Wi-Fi garage door opener can only be added to one primary MyQ account. If the Wi-Fi garage door opener is on an account with an old email, Tap your initials in the top left of the MyQ app and go to Manage Account and then Change Email. 
If adding the Wi-Fi garage door opener continues to fail, it may be necessary to perform a factory reset on the garage door opener and try again. To do this, visit myq.com support. Scroll down to need more help toward the bottom of the page and select residential consumer to connect with one of our experts. If you have reviewed all troubleshooting techniques and still find you are having problems connecting your garage door opener, please refer to your manual for further instructions or visit myq.com support.